Caught on camera, a daycare worker allegedly locking a three-year-old boy in a bathroom for several hours. Tonight, that worker is out of a job and criminally charged. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us live from the Children's Academy in Hickory where this all happened. Brandon, what's going on there? Well, Rachel, that toddler's father shared with us a clip of that video, and he says he wants any parent who may have a child in daycare to watch this. So that's him right there. And then Being picked up. Craig Covington says he can barely sleep after watching this surveillance video of his three-year-old son, Corbin, during nap time. He says the video shows a Children's Academy daycare worker picking Corbin up while he's in his cot, walking him across the room, hitting a stack of chairs. She slams him down. She kicks it. She kicks it again. He says that worker then pushes him into the bathroom. He says cameras later caught the worker shutting the door and leaving his son in there for three hours. I mean, it's my son. I'm supposed to save every one of his to save him. And it's like I was not there to save a voice calling for me to save. He says this happens last Friday, but neither he nor his son's mother were told about this until the middle of this week. A Hickory police report confirms officers weren't called in until five days later. The daycare's director declined to talk on camera. She told me over the phone they reported this incident as soon as they found out about it, both to authorities and to parents. She says the worker in this video, who Covington identified as Lynette West, has been fired. Online court records matching West's name show she's been charged with misdemeanor child abuse. But it just hurt me watching my son sit there and be through the torture he was put through. No child deserved to be in the dark for three hours period in a bathroom at that. This is scheduled to appear in court June 11th. Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. Brandon, thanks.